The first step of this assignment is to come up with those five big relationships in your life. Now I put down the, uh, so what do I have here? Friend number two, wife, friend number one, boss, dad. So these are my big relationships in my life. You'll notice that with these ones, friend number two, friend number one, I didn't actually put down their names and that's just because I didn't want to identify them. And if you have the same thing, feel free to put friend one, friend two. Um, yeah, for like if it's dad and you don't want to put dad, you could put parent or just uh, something to identify them. You could even put a little happy face and put number, let's see, I already have friend one, friend two, you could put number three. Yeah. However you want to identify them. The one thing I will say though, is make sure that you uh, use real people. So don't uh, make the mistake of um, coming up with fictional people because then the next step is going to be really, really difficult. If you use real people in your life, uh, then this assignment is going to be useful for you, but it's also going to be easier to do with real people. Uh, before we actually get started on the assignment, you'll notice that I'm going very low tech. So I'm just using a pen and a piece of paper. That's to show that uh, you can do these assignments without using um, something high tech. Uh, you don't have to use Word Online or anything like that if you don't like to uh, or you don't want to or you think it'll be better this way. Um, yeah, totally up to you. With this one, I used a web, but you could totally do this same assignment using a chart with your relationships listed down one side and then the stuff that we're going to go into right away on the other side. So let's get into this assignment. Uh, I'm going to use this one as my example. So my boss, um, what I'm going to do is think about my relationship with my boss and then just write down some things. It can be notes if you want. So just point form, you can write sentences if that's something you like better. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's going to get your information down on paper, which is our goal. Uh, so my boss, this relationship, my boss and the relationship are both very supportive. And so we discuss things. And lots of listening and sharing. Put it down like that. Ooh, I just spelled sharing wrong. <laughs> I guess that's one of the problems with a pen and paper is you can't just delete. Um, yeah. This relationship also involves humor, which is a big part of my life. Uh, and then I honestly could go on for quite a while. And with yours, when you're doing your assignment, take some time and list as many things as you can because that, again, Seems like more work, but it's actually going to make the next part easier. So the next part is where we, I'm just going to turn it this way. And I'm going to think about all those things that I just wrote out about my relationship with my boss. Take a look at it, think about it, and then decide, is this a healthy or unhealthy relationship? Now, so far I've written all positive things here. There might also be negative things because relationships are complex. They might have positive and negative things. But I'm going to take a look at everything and then just decide whether it's a healthy or unhealthy relationship. I think uh, the relationship I have with my boss is healthy. So I just wrote down healthy. You need to do that for each of your relationships that you identified here. So again, make sure you choose real people in your life because that will make this exercise valuable for you because you're actually thinking about your life, which is the idea of this assignment, but also this class. Uh, try to identify as many aspects of that relationship as you can. So as many things about that relationship as you can. And then at the end, decide whether it's healthy or unhealthy.